Hey Virgo people, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. Okay? So we can continue to grow as a channel. You know what I'm saying? Alright? Alright, so I'm gonna get in here and get some messages for the sign of Virgo people. Okay? So let's see. God, universe, angels, spirit guides, and ancestors. What messages do we have for the Virgo people? Messages for the Virgo people. Messages do we have for the Virgo people? Virgo people, Virgo people, Virgo people. Right. Let's get into it, shall we? We shall. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, we have unrequited love. Okay. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So you like somebody, they don't like you. Somebody like you, you don't like them. But then we have passion. Allow your heart enjoy. Allow your heart to sing. I mean, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Ah, 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 new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. And it is safe for you to love and worth waiting for. Who? It looks like you it's somebody, it's two people here going on. So one person you don't really want to be with, and the other person you're very passionate about. Some type of new love situation that you got going on for yourself, okay? So let's just see what we got for the Virgo people. Messages for the Virgo people. What do we got for Virgo people? Hmm. True love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Okay, so you got some true love here for you. We got separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so you could be dealing with some type of true love, but there's a separation coming in due to somebody needing to heal family issues. Your love life benefits if you forgive your parents. See, somebody got to forgive their parents so that they can show a better into a relationship that or into a situation that not a relationship but a situation of true love right which i feel like right now there's a separation between the people and i don't feel like it's a, a separation i feel like they right there they might even communicate but see how he holding his heart it's like he missed her I don't feel, even if y'all see each other every day or y'all talk every day, there's still a, a separation in emotions or it's a separation. Like it's a distance between y'all. Like it's a distance, even though, even if I'm standing next to you, we distant type shit. Okay. Because it's some type of healing family issues. You're like, something's going on here. Give me one more, two more, whatever we got coming out for the Virgo people. playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit to shine and we have deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship okay somebody lying about some new love passion unrequited love okay so oh, they're gonna lie right there somebody very passionate about somebody that they act like they don't love at all it's acting like, oh, I don't want you. I don't want to be with you. The love is unrequited. But really, this person passionate than the motherfucker about you. They want to have new love with you. They feel like they got to learn it. It's safe for them to love, though. And it's worth waiting for. Something's going on here. That's for somebody. That's where the false mask comes in. When they need to be playful with this. But I feel like all of this is taking place because somebody needs to be healing their family issues. They're product of their environment. And they're not doing anything about it. Okay. Tell me about this true love for the Virgo people. Why is that here? This is a, the romance of a lifetime. Why is that here for the Virgo people? Okay, tell me about true love. Romance of a lifetime for the Virgo people. That was the temperance card. They went up and dropped it, went up in the air and went back in the deck, okay? But that's odd because the Six of Pentacles is here. Temperance and Six of Pentacles mean about the same thing when it comes to the balance of it. Doing the right thing because it's the right thing to do, speaking the truth. Moving based upon the truth. 
finding a balance. This is the, these two cards. It's, it's it's all about balance here. So it's a true love situation that requires balance. And in order to do that, somebody's got to walk away from something. It's definitely new love here for you that you definitely want. So you definitely feel connected to somebody. But there's a tower here. It's something you don't see coming. And it happens quick. Eight of Cups. What you walking away from? Five of Cups. Your family issues. The past pain. Disappointments of shit that not working out for you. Stuff that ain't serving you emotionally in the first fucking place. You're getting away to that shit. Okay? Closing out a cycle because I feel like it's caught bringing out a... This could be somebody you're dealing with or it could be you. It's bringing out an in and out energy about you. Okay? And it's all due to somebody needing balance. Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. See? Nine committal. Very committal. It's a difference going on here. See, I feel like in a past disappointment cycle, it makes you uh, frisky is the word they're giving me. But I don't, I feel like it's, um, gotta catch them all. It's a Pokemon thing, but it ain't. It's like um, get, needing to get caught. You're the Pokemon and somebody's chasing you. You're getting out of there. Things get too serious, you're running. It's something solid here. Love. Right here. And you just, whoo. You got to get out of here. It felt too good, but you're really passionate about this person. You might feel like you need a break from them so that you so that you can heal, or this is how they feel about you. Because somebody really wants to be playful and recapture romance, but they act like they don't care instead. They wear a false mask, even though they care about this person. Tell me about separation. Why is that here for the Virgo people? Yeah. Divine feminine, the queen of wands. Somebody separated from their feminine, from their the person that they see is the one. Ten of swords to the two of swords. Something's blowing up in somebody's face. Ten of swords. What's this? It's a separation, but I don't. Why is it showing up a separation and an ending? Oh, cause somebody's got to heal from a painful ending. Because they want this love. I feel like they do want it. But they can't. It, it's a separation taking place right now. But as you see in this picture. This man is holding his heart. Holding on to that lady's hand. The lady that he's separated with. And do you see all the little angels. Little angels all over top of it. So it's protected. This man is in love with this woman. But he, this is how he sees her. But he's dealing with this right now. Something that he has to heal from. Some type of information that he learned. Something that his intuition was already telling him. Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. What's the Page of Pentacles? Oh, there she go. The Empress. So this is something new that he want to work on. That man loves this woman. This woman is this, the empress to him. He want to put in the work with her. He want to make some plans where he's waiting. He's waiting for the right moment to offer this love to her. What is three of, three of wands? It'd be weird what's going on in the reading. Waiting for what? It's the lover's connection. He's waiting to take charge as the masculine of this lover's connection and offer it love. And what is he waiting for? I don't know what he's waiting for. The King of Cups. Somebody could be dealing with a King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. It could be a Gemini. It could be a fire sign. But he's got to make a decision to take a leap of faith if he wants this victory. But he's waiting. Tell me more about the Three, three of Wands. He's waiting to make a choice, make a move, make a decision. The Queen of Cups. To the King of Cups. He's waiting on somebody else. The sun. This is about the happiest card in the deck. The nine of wands is about wounded warriors. Somebody's sorry that they were so guarded towards what makes them really happy. And this is what they be thinking about. But it's like they're it's just like they're waiting. 
And then the, the Queen of Cups to the Five, it's like they're waiting for somebody to retreat and leave them in a the cold. Huh. Why the Five of Pentacles to the Four of Swords? It just don't make sense to me. Ten of Pentacles to the Tower. Because he's looking back. It be you, Virgo. You are you maybe you know something and you waiting on something to go down because it's based on the knowledge you have. <sighs> I don't really know this stuff, it's confusing me. But we got the three of swords, which is heartbreak. You waiting on somebody, are you you waiting on somebody maybe that you left out in the cold and you broke their heart or they did this to you? You want somebody to retreat from you, somebody maybe that who got hurt. Because something shocked them about a Ten of Pentacles. <sighs> What's the tower? Hey, y'all go racking my brain by the second card. <laughs> it's okay, though. The tower is the Ten of Wands, the Two of Pentacles. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, to the Five of Wands. Sending messages will be trapped in your mind. But it's like ego. You got to put down the burdens of your ego in order to find the balance. And why is that such a shocker for you? Three of Swords. The shocker could be that you know, somebody's heart is broken. You got your intuition. So the Three of Swords is because somebody made a decision to stay in their head. Even when... Even when their intuition told them to make some type of decision. And that's what's happening here. That's why it's hurting. That's why it's blowing up. Hmm. Something's blowing up. I still haven't figured it. But I do feel like somebody's really apologized. They're real sorry for being guarded. And they want to make a choice movement and decision to move towards somebody that they love. But they still acting like it's nothing. Like it's like, okay, I'm guarded. I'm sorry that I'm guarded, but I'm going to sit here and play in your face like I'm not sorry or like I don't care. Or like I, I don't know. It's weird. It's weird. It's giving weird. It's giving weird. And I love y'all. Okay. Healing family issues. Why is that here for the Virgo period? Period. The Virgo period. Ugh. What's that about? The Virgo period. The Virgo period. I know that's August. The end of August. The beginning of September. That's the Virgo period. But I meant to say Virgo people. But something could have happened during Virgo season. Mm -hmm. Something about healing family issues. Your life benefits as you forgive your parents. Full card. That's when somebody will see. Somebody will take a leap of faith and take a, a, a new perspective. To take a leap of faith and reconcile a situation. And it's due to this tower. The separation could cause the tower. But in the same token, somebody's waiting on it. It's like waiting on a person to retreat. I don't know. It's a lot going on. It's making me confused. Page of Swords. Where the perspective come from, Spirit? The perspective of how to balance out. Or perspective that they need to balance out. A brand new passionate beginning with this Empress. Oh, because somebody had a choice to stay single or move forward when that, towards that happiness, but it would have been required putting down the burdens of the past. Same old stuff. Two of Pentacles. Somebody wants to communicate or move towards this Empress. But they're scared. The devil, or they got addictions, codependencies, family issues. They're scared and guarded like a motherfucker. They are like fighting your ass off. You try to get close to them, they fuck around and knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Just kidding. But that's how they guard. This is how they protect themselves. Because they scared. But in the same token, they want to find a balance and move towards you. I don't understand how that's supposed to work. Somebody's fighting. It's a big battle here. They're fighting their love. They're fighting their feelings and trying to stick in their ego. 
It's a battle between heart and ego. But I feel like this person will move past this and communicate because they want to bring in new energy. But it's like they get a perspective. The perspective to send them to a fool. Tell me about the fool card. They take a leap of faith after gaining a new perspective. And then it's not really telling me what the perspective is. Or maybe they gained the perspective that they are being guarded. They are, Because they're scared, they are fought, uh, fighting for dear life or whatever the hell you want to call it. So the food card is about the king of cups. Somebody definitely could be dealing with this water sign. Or somebody holding them feelings in big time. I love you, but I ain't trying to talk about it. Restricting the shit out they suffer from their emotions that they know they got. And that needs to come to an end. Their intuition keep telling them. Heal it. Retreat. Tell the truth. Queen of Wands. Or it's going to be over. Because you sabotaged. Huh. It's intense in here right now. World card. Something needs to complete. Wrap around. The Magician. Something needs to come full, be complete in order for something else to start. Two of Swords. The World. I'm sorry, the Will of Fortune. The Page of Pentacles and the Hangman. Some type of destiny or beginning is stagnated due to a need to close a cycle. Hangman. The Hierophant. Yeah, a spiritual, a spiritual connection is... uh. Stagnated because something needs, oh, excuse me, something needs to get cut out or somebody. Queen of Swords, the Emperor, the Emperor needs to cut something out because that's who, yeah, he needs to retreat or cut something out. Three of Pentacles, somebody he working with or somebody, uh, something. If he wants to, it's like he want to pl plant the seed, but he need to cut out Three of Swords. A third party. A third energy. Three of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. You need to put an end to something. The Queen of Wands. That's the second time we got the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords in the same sentence. But here's the King of Wands. You need to put an end to the fear. And take a fucking leap of faith. This is his Queen of Wands. He's the King. She's the Queen of Cups. He's the King. Like... He got anxiety like a motherfucker when it comes to standing up and defending this, even though his intuition is telling him. It's odd. It really is. But I feel like all of this is due to his family issues. That's why he's struggling. Tell me about healing family issues. I'm making the videos. Look, there she go again. The queen is out. Oh, here get again. Healing family issues. Seven of swords to the queen of cups. To the queen of pentacles. To the king of pentacles. Uh-oh. The boy is mine. Somebody got two women. He want to take this man. The masculine wants to take charge and defend the position that his, in, his intuition is nudging him to do. But he's got anxiety. He's got anxiety about communicating. He's got the king and the queen of pentacles here. Hmm. Huh. Family issues. There we go. There's the family issues right there. It might not be his parents. It might be his his own his own situation. It could be his parents, his mom, and his dad. But I feel like it's him and his wife, or her and his, her and her husband. I feel like he want to start new and move. You know, communicate. But then the seven of swords. What's going on? What's the seven of swords? There's a lot going on here. Lord, make it plain so I can get up out of here. And I love y'all, but I don't want to be here all night. See, somebody got to make a choice. Oh, they made a bad choice. The Tower, a Nine of Cups. See, they got, somebody got to need to become Seven of Swords, lying, deceiving, holding back. Tower. Why is the Tower here? Four of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. There's something you don't want here. You're walking away. You made a final judgment call to walk away and move away from somebody you was with. Because they was Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands? 
You found out some type of harsh-ass truth of a secret that a motherfucker was keeping. Moon card. But your intuition was already telling you, Virgo. That's you right there. Some lying-ass bitch. Let's see who was it. Let's see who was it. We got two, two. I'm sorry. I ain't sorry, though. People should keep the truth. Okay. So let's see who. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We got the Queen of Pentacles and the, and the Queen of Cups. Let's see who was lying. Tell about the Queen of Cups. The Judgment. The Six of Pentacles. Tell about the Queen of Pentacles. Justice card. The Knight of Pentacles. Judgment card of balance. Judgment card of... Oh, that's what we've been talking about since the beginning. Card balance. And then the Queen of Pentacles is somebody that you had a marriage with. That you had something long term solid with. Tell me one more on the Queen of Cups. Oh, that's her. She get the knight. Let's see what the Queen of Pentacles get. She get the Ten of Cups. There's something going on for both of these women for you. One more on this Queen of Pentacles. Or two. The King of Wands. To the Six of Cups. And the Queen of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like you're dealing with a fire sign, man. Or a Libra. Somebody from your past coming in to reconcile, coming to speak some type of truth to you. Somebody that you do see that makes you happy. Could be a Taurus. Now, on the side of this Queen of Cups, Virgo Masculine, I feel like this is somebody that you need to speak the truth to. They tell, that, tell this person that you do want to find a balance, that you do want to have some type of love. And I feel like you, and I say that do with emphasis because it looks like you're deciding to be decept where your mask of deception is there. And it looks like this King of, uh, P King of, uh, wands whoever is trying to play crazy or play in your face queen of pentacles they care they just playing crazy i feel like what you can expect is that somebody's gonna be coming here being playful trying to recapture the romance they're gonna be coming in here trying to bring in light-hearted energy because they do they know what the truth is regardless of what's going on regardless of what they try to display they know the truth and so do you so let's stop let's cut it with the bullshit you see what i'm saying so let's talk about playfulness recapturing the romance yeah, that's what I thought. Because the motherfucker want to get into calmer waters with you or this is how you feeling with them. They want to be victorious. They want to move forward. They want to have something solid and long term. And I feel like it took them a long time to get here. But here they go. And coming in here playfulness with anxiety. Trying to hope that they can reconcile it up with they wish fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Yep, because this is destiny. And who the fuck wants to miss out on destiny? Uh, nobody, baby. Right? So balance is coming in. Balance is about to be reinvented in a situation where two twin flames get into a union reconciliation six of cups because the magician believed in himself and he did it baby and he moved right towards that queen of wands i mean for his towards that empress and said who can love me like you nobody who gonna love you like me nobody boom and it was it deception why is deception here you see, because the motherfucker lying like they don't want this brand new beginning. I told y'all. Before I ever got to that pal, I told y'all. Somebody acting like they don't want this motherfucking love and knowing that they motherfucking do. They already chose it. They already chose it. They sorry that they so guarded towards what makes them happy. That's the real fucking truth. But they got to heal family issues. Or they just guarded because they afraid all the time. I don't know what they guarded for, but they guarded and they sorry. That's all they got to say, Okay. So that's what I got for you, Virgo people. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I do hope this helped. Have a blessed night. Namaste.